we're looking at the engine, typical four-stroke engine. There's two-cycle or two-stroke engines and four-stroke engines. This is four strokes or four phases of the process of a cycle of the engine. So what we're looking at now is we're getting a little insight or a little look into the cylinder itself. And inside the cylinder we can see that there are some valves, there's some spark plugs, and there's a piston. And this piston moves up and down in this chamber, in this cylinder. And as it does that through a connecting rod, it cranks a crankshaft, turns that crankshaft around. And that's what it turns your propeller. That's kind of a little overview of what we're looking at. Let's take a look through each, each step, though. What happens in the intake step or in the uh, intake stroke is that the intake valve opens and that lets that fuel air uh, into the combustion chamber. Uh, remember we talked about the carburetor mixing the fuel air and all that. Where does it go? It goes right here. The, the intake valve has to open and when it does that it draws in the fuel air. and it, it, Part of that draws because the, the uh, piston is moving down and as this piston moves downward it's gonna it's gonna kinda suck that air fuel rate, uh, uh, charge into the chamber and pull it in. Uh, next we go to the compression stage and what has happened here in the meantime is the notice the intake valve is closed and both the both valves the intake and the exhaust are closed so we have a perfect seal in here it's airtight okay and as that piston comes back up from the intake stroke it's now compressing that air that fuel air and what what happens when you compress air oxygen right think about oxygen bottles they're high pressure air and they're highly flammable aren't they because they're air under pressure so as we compress that air tighter and tighter and tighter uh, and the fuel that's atomized or vaporized in that this pay this 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 guy's ready to to blow okay and what we do next after that compression stroke is we hit the power we hit the lighter and the spark plugs there's two as you can see here in this drawing uh, ignite a little spark that's what a spark plug does and that's what this is so these sparks go off just the right timing and that ignites the fuel air, air uh, charge in the cylinder as this fuel air just sets on fire and burns uh, that's going to create expansion heat right and as that happens as that heat and expansion takes place it's going to push an exertion down on the piston so this is where the 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 power stroke comes in in step three here this would be like on your bicycle your foot pushing down on the pedal this is the point at which you're given the power stroke pushing down on that pedal in this case the expanding gas air mass is pushing down and exerting pressure on the piston pushing it down and rotating the crankshaft and moving the propeller okay last step step number four is the exhaust valve opens and this time the piston comes up yet again but not in the compression stroke this is the exhaust stroke and as it comes up that piston pushes all the the exhaust now out of the uh, engine uh, combustion chamber through that valve and out your exhaust pipe and so that's where you see all the exhaust coming out the exhaust pipe. That valve closes up and we go back to uh, the process again with the intake uh, stage and we draw in more fresh air and fuel and we do it all over again. So it's pretty cool if you don't un didn't understand how an engine works that's basically how it works and how it works in your car as well.